The more adventurous moviegoer might lament the rehashing of tired storylines, but never fear, you'll find the perfect antidote to those blues right here on Filmstruck, especially in the work of a magician and his wild and unpredictable cinema, with films that resist formula and simple explanation. Yes! Yes! The director is Alejandro Hodorowski. His work is singular, informed by a personal history of isolation, a lifetime of spiritual training, and a pursuit for honest art. Hodorowski was born in a small town in coastal Chile, and throughout school he suffered torment at the hands of classmates who mocked his Jewish heritage. But growing up as an outsider cultivated his imagination and soon he was writing poetry, performing on stage and looking for the fastest ticket out of town. Este país es una isla. Me despido. Voy a París. Inspired by the theatre and pantomime, he longed to study with legendary performer Marcel Marceau. He moved to Paris in the 50s, which was ripe for the avant-garde, and pretty soon, Podorowski fell in with a company of mimes, clowns, poets and surrealists eager to share their wild visions. They soon led the charge, founding the Panic Movement in the early 60s. This was experimental theatre designed to shock with provocation as its end goal. No soy un payaso. Soy un poeta. During this time, Hodorowski was honing his skills, channeling his energy into comic strips, the stage and short films. Fando and Lease was his first feature and it came out of the gate swinging in 1968. Vengan! Vengan! Por aquí! Hm. <laughs> this black and white descent into the desert featured surreal images and mythical iconography that would soon become inseparable from his name. It channeled the absurdity of the panic movement and remained true to the spirit of that movement with riots breaking out at the premiere at the Acapulco Film Festival and the movie being banned in Mexico. In 1970 came El Topo, or The Mole, a bizarre mashup of spaghetti western, Mexican fable, and mysticism. Hodorowski himself starred in the lead role as a gunslinger on a spiritual journey. In this desert, viven los cuatro maestros del revolver. El desierto es circular. Para encontrar a los cuatro maestros, tendremos que viajar en espiral. Older American audiences didn't quite know what to make of it, but theatre owners brave enough to screen it after midnight soon found the right audience. The film fed into the minds of late-night moviegoers and gained cult status. Most notable among its fans were John Lennon and Yoko Ono, whose love for the film inspired manager Alan Klein to purchase the rights and set up a second production. Hodorowski knew that financial backing meant he could go bigger, but he remained unconcerned with box office performance. Instead, he decided to use his next film to criticise materialism and greed. So if audiences felt the images in his last picture were trippy, then 1973's The Holy Mountain carried them into another realm entirely. Featuring jaw-dropping sets and iconic images, it defies description and remains a classic cult anomaly. The film failed to make its money back, but continues to influence today's movie makers and musicians, especially after its first wide release 30 years later. A legal battle with Klein and the now notorious attempt to bring an adaptation of Frank Herbert's Dune to the big screen pushed Hodorowski away from the business for over two decades. Instead, he devoted his time to writing comics and developing a self-help therapy called Psychomagic. This therapy focuses on healing traumas passed down through family, drawing from tarot readings. Psychomagic is also key to understanding his work as an artist. 
In 2013, he directed The Dance of Reality, a colourful and fantastical take on his early childhood. La oscuridad se lo está tragando todo. Nos va a devorar. He picked up this story three years later with the sequel Endless Poetry, which explored his first years as an aspiring artist in Chile. Poesía alumbrarás mi camino como una mariposa que arde. These late career entries were much more accessible than his earlier films, but just as magical and confounding, and prove that the director hasn't slowed down. Necesito ayuda. Pecador. Cura de mierda. Hodorowski turned 89 in February and remains a rare breed. For his more recent films, he turned to Twitter and crowdfunding, explaining that in return, he would provide his backers with spiritual money and the chance to participate in something outside the realm of today's soulless movie-making machine. El dinero es como la sangre. Da la vida si circula. El dinero es como el Cristo. Te bendice si lo compartes. El dinero es como el Buda. Si no trabajas, no lo obtienes. As he once said, in every moment, something magical happens. ¡Qué maravilla! <laughs>